Hi, welcome to video number four. In this video, we're going to do our very first basic HMBC thing. Very basic, but it'll uh, get you out of the starting blocks, hopefully. And uh, let's get to it. So, uh, we have the, I, ho I hope you've been following the other videos, we have this thing called HMBC test that we've been uh, setting up. I'm going to build a little task manager application. Really simple, uh, and I'm sure you'll be able to follow along really easily. So I'll start off by going into PHP my admin. Now I've made a database called HMBC test, okay, to kind of correspond with this, right? And I'm going to make a new uh, table up called tasks, and I'm going to give it three fields, okay? <coughs> Pardon me, first field's ID, title, uh, priority, you can see it's auto-completing because I was I was filming earlier on and I went into a coughing fit and I had to start again, you know, but hopefully we'll be okay now. So title, I'll make it a variable character, 255, the rest, integers, uh, auto-increment, primary queue, yep, everything looks cool, standard stuff, people. Standard stuff, I'm absolutely sure you can handle this. So uh, let's um, add in my things, watch more TV as a priority of five. Uh, oopsie daisy, maybe I should have actually done two of them. Buy more stuff, that has a priority of seven. Uh, do some exercise has a priority of nine, okay. So just a simple table with three things in the table, okay? Now I'm going to make a tasks module that's going to talk to this table here. Remember, module, one table, one module, one table, one module, one table, one module. So whenever we get a table, we have a module corresponding to it, okay? Uh, right, so let's just do that. I'm going to head on down to here. Remember the modules folder? Do you remember this thing? The no fun module? I'm just copying that and I'm calling this tasks. Okay. And here we are. I'm just doing a little bit of renaming. Just a little bit to get that happening. And I'm going to open up NetBeans. And here it is here. It's really cool how NetBeans updates like this, you know. You don't need to restart or anything. It knows what's happening in the directory. So this is no fun at all, it's getting changed to this is the tasks controller. Let's just make sure this is working, okay? All right, so we're reading the tasks controller, that is awesome. Now I'm gonna uh, read this stuff from the database here and I'm gonna print it on the page. But before we can do that, we need to do a little bit more configuration. It'll only take a second, just relax, okay? So, um, just to get the database up and rocking, I'm going to head on into config, auto load, and right down here, I'm going to auto load the database library, all right? Uh, there are other things that we can auto load, like sessions and what have you. I might dedicate an entire video to that stuff so that you know exactly the best, best way to configure this whole thing and it'll work super cool, you know. But for the moment, we'll just auto-load the database. And since we've done that, let's open up the database file here and uh, do a little configuration. So root is the default, okay? Then we've got HMVC test is the name of the database. With a bit of luck, that should be uh, that. I'm just going to close these. That's, that should be us configured, ready to rock. Let's now load up the module again, the tasks module. And I'm going to add a model in here. So a new PHP file, I'm going to call it MDL underscore tasks, okay? MDL underscore, and then the name of the thing. In the past, I, I didn't used to do that, but sometimes the, the code igniter gets a bit mixed up. So MDL underscore name of the thing, right? And uh, 
here we are, looking good. Now, the cool thing about HMVC is the models, the syntax and all that, it's all standard Code Igniter stuff, you know. So here's the Code Igniter manual, do you remember this? And uh, if I look on the section about the uh, models, I'm just going to copy this, in fact. Uh, now, there's a wee, let me just see, actually, I'm just going to paste this in. Straight from the Code Igniter manual. And I actually like this thing at the top here that says no direct script access. So we'll uh, do that. We'll make a little adjustment here. All right, so that's called MDL underscore tasks. I'm not going to bother with this. And we'll add a nice curly bracket down here. Okay, we're looking good. So this is our model. Folks, this is standard Code Igniter stuff. There's nothing here that should be surprising to you if you've done basic Code Igniter, if you've gone through the tutorials, okay? So um, now I'm going to make up a function, just a very basic one, called get. And it, it fetches stuff from the database, okay? So the way it works is it loads up a database order by, order by, like that. Um, then we say query equals this db get. And we're going to get from the table called tasks. And we are going to return the query. That is absolute standard textbook how to get some stuff from a database straight from the code igniter manual. So there should be nothing there that's surprising, okay? Now I'm going to head back to the tasks thing and I'm going to load up that, that uh, model. So we go like this, loading it up. And then I'm going to run that query. So it equals this model tasks uh, get. And I think I'll do order by priority in this case. And now I'm going to just say, hang on, there's something there that it doesn't like. I wonder what it is. Uh, this model task, that actually looks okay to me. For each query, loading up the results as row. Um, echo, let's have h2. Let's have row task. Uh, sorry, row title it was called. That was right. Title. And we'll close our h2s here. Okay, this is all standard stuff, you know. So if I run this, warning, un unable to locate the model. Okay. Uh, all right, that's interesting. Model tasks. Let me just check. Load model. Oh, yeah, little typo there. Oh, yes, here we go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, task control, watch more TV, buy more stuff, do more exercises. We're successfully running a query. Now, this really is textbook. I actually write my queries as close to the textbook as possible, or as close to the user guide. So this is all cool, and it should be pretty straightforward. Now, let's start the process of doing things in a sort of good and proper way, shall we? Because you guys know that it's bad practice to print stuff out or echo stuff out from the controller. If we're going to do this properly, we really should be using view files. So let's do just that, okay? Uh, I'm going to take this stuff out here, okay? And where it says query, I'm going to change that to data query like so. And then I'm just going to say this, load view. And I'll call this, um, oh gee, I'll just call this uh, display because it's going to display the tasks. And that's pretty much it. Now, uh, if I go into the view folder, new file, I'm going to call it display. I'll just write, here we go, just to make sure it's working. Okay, that's cool. Looks good. Uh, so this is a view file, we're doing this very proper, this is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to call this your tasks. And then, I'm going to go 
Actually, I copied that from earlier on, so I may as well just use it in here. All right. So I'm just looping through that kind of uh, query object. I'm all over the place. And here we are. Okay, so you can see we're using uh, everything. Everything seems kind of cool. Uh, and that's basic HMVC. In the next lesson, we haven't actually had... Uh, modules talking to other modules so far. I'm going to cover that in the next lesson and that really is when the big takeoff begins. So I'll catch you in the next lesson, okay? Bye!